The National Weather Services warns that real impacts of the El Nino may kick in April or May this year and the heat will increase immensely. The dry season kicks in around April, May, this transitional period, then we should see much more uh, drought to become widespread right across the country. With less rainfall in the previous months and continuing into March as advised, people will start looking for water and mass migration to places with water is most likely to happen. Many places have not had rainfall and are looking dry and brown in NCD and most likely the whole country, making it easy for bushfires of which Mr. Gamoga urges everyone to take caution when dealing with fires in such areas. Provinces currently on NWS watch are NCD, Millen Bay and Hela, which have not met their annual rainfall and having had very little to no rain in their wet season. The government had to start preparing for possible drought uh, occurring uh, in, uh, in the locations around, or around the country as well as bushfires. The National Agriculture Research Institute and Food and Agriculture Organization are also assisting to prepare for the drought and are encouraging the country to start farming drought-resistant foods and trees that have been the main sources and avenue of food security during the past drought events. These include nuts and fruits such as gallip, breadfruits, chestnuts, popo, coconuts, cassava, and pumpkin. Just la sun and hot low place, um, what I am try, na katen kai kai tu am try all keta, mi pla hot low kisim, sun cooking all kai kai, na what I tu am pakara, mi pla sa hot low kisim what I tu, na hot low kisim all kai kai tu, because crown am try, na sun am hot, na kai kai die, am hot low grow. Francisca Anania, National MTV News.